Does Melania Trump really speak five languages? I'm John Aravosis, the editor of America Blog, here today to delve into the mystery of those languages that Melania Trump claims to speak. As you know, Donald Trump this week announced a new immigration policy whereby immigrants with special skills and fluency in the English language will be favorited for entry into the United States. All of this got me thinking about America's most famous immigrant, First Lady Melania Trump. There's been a lot of talk about Melania's language skills. We all know she's fluent in Michelle Obama, but is she really fluent in English and does she really speak all those other languages the White House claims she speaks? So I decided to take a look. First, let's hear from Melania herself speaking to Mika Brzezinski about the languages she speaks. How many languages do you speak? I speak few languages. A few? Yeah. English? English, Italian, French, uh, German. Okay, so we've got English, Italian, French, German, and of course Slovenian, where Melania's from. Now, a lot has been said about Melania's English and that it's not very good. In fact, I went back and listened to an interview she had with Joy Bayar a few years ago, and Melania didn't do bad. I would say she's fluent in English, but it's a broken English. It's an imperfect English of an immigrant who came here as an adult, but she clearly understands and she clearly expresses herself. Let's listen to a quick clip. And uh, he's very passionate about that. And I see that people really like it. They like it what he's saying. He's saying the way it is. He's not a politician goes in the circles around and around and just to talk. No, he's very he's direct. The, he's very. So on English, it's fair to say Melania is fluent. But did she learn English when she first came here 20 years ago? That's the new requirement the Trump administration wants to have. And I've been researching around and can't get a straight answer on how good Melania's English was when she first arrived. I think that's an important question for the White House to answer. And what about those four or five other languages the White House keeps claiming Melania is fluent in? Does she really speak those? Well, I speak five languages myself, so I decided to take a look at the languages Melania and I have in common, Italian and French, and see, is she really fluent in those two languages? And what I found is disturbing, though perhaps not surprising. First up, French. As you know, Melania recently went to Paris with her husband to attend the Bastille Day festivities. While she was there, Melania visited some school kids. It was the perfect opportunity for Melania to show off her fluent French. So did she? According to the English paper The Telegraph, Melania was crazy fluent in French, wowing the children with her Francais. Let's watch a little bit of what actually happened. Now, if you listened closely to that video, what you heard Melania say was, Bonjour, nice to meet you. Je m'appelle Melania, my name is Melania. And you speak very good English. Where was the French? Someone who is fluent in French says a little bit more than, Hello, my name is so-and-so. You would at least show the kids that you speak French and show off a bit for the local audience. You'd say, Bonjour, je suis Melania, je suis enchanté de vous voir aujourd'hui les enfants. Comment ça va? Les, les études vont bien? My name is Melania. How are you doing, kids? Are the studies going well? You would show off a little bit like I just did there. And especially Melania. If she spoke fluent French, wouldn't she want to show that off abroad? Wouldn't she want to show sort of how classy she is, how she's, you know, this first first lady in a long time to be fluent in all these languages and be so cosmopolitan on the international stage? But she didn't do that. She stuck to not even French 101. She stuck to the first week of French class, the first day of French class. So I decided to Google a little bit more, because if Melania was fluent in French, you'd think you'd find more examples of her speaking French. In fact, the only examples I could find were these fake bots that were set up to create videos claiming Melania speaks French. You'd see they use even an artificial voice. Here's an example of one. Melania Trump speaks French at Paris Children's Hospital. First Lady Melania Trump dusted off her French to charm a group of sick children at a Parisian hospital on Thursday. Now the same problem popped up with Italian, another language Melania claims to be fluent in. Melania went to Rome recently with her husband, and she went to a children's hospital. She greeted the kids, said a few perfunctory words in Italian, and then spoke English the entire time with these kids. Though written in English, she responded to the warm welcome of the little ones in their native tongue. Ciao, come stai in tutto bene? That's the equivalent of spaghetti, mastaccioli, scaramucci. 
It's it's fake Italian. It's Italian 101. It's Italian out of a guidebook you bought at the little store on the corner of the Vatican. It's not something somebody who's fluent in Italian would do. You would show off a little. You would let the kids know you speak the language. But just as importantly, Melania got her Italian wrong. In the clip, you'll notice she walks into the room and greets the kids by saying, Come stai? In fact, what Melania did is she said, how are you that individual kid over there doing? To say how are you the entire class doing, you would say come state. Just like in Spanish, she said the equivalent of como estas to a room full of people when she should have said como están ustedes. Now again, this is really rudimentary Italian. It's, it's the kind of thing you would learn your first week in class. And it's certainly the kind of thing you'd know if you lived there and were fluent in the language. Melania didn't know it. And also, just like in France, Melania kept talking to the kids in English when she had ample opportunity to throw in some words in Italian because she's so fluent. Yet she didn't. You can hear Melania saying backpacks and coloring books, and someone in the background is translating for her, saying the word zaino, which is the Italian word for backpack. And here's another quick clip from the Associated Press, again showing Melania speaking English to these Italian kids when she could have just as easily spoken Italian. What do we call it here? If you were fluent in Italian, wouldn't you want to show off a bit for the kids and for your country? But in fact, yet again, the fake news bots were happy to proclaim that Melania spoke Italian to the kids and was fluent as all get out. Melania Trump speaks Italian with hospitalized children in Rome. And even though I don't speak German, I decided to do a little search on German too, and couldn't find a single video of Melania speaking German, yet another language she's supposedly fluent in. Now, in the context of the immigration debate, all of this is really relevant. It matters if Melania came here legally. It matters if Melania spoke English when she got here. And it matters if the Trump administration is telling the truth about Melania's background, whether it's her language background or whether it's how she came to this country. And the reason it matters is first, this administration is the one that claimed all of this mattered. They claimed that when immigrants come here, they better be telling the truth, they better be honest, they better be skilled, and they better be fluent in English. So why not apply the same standard to America's most famous immigrant, the First Lady? But just as importantly, there's the issue of credibility. The Trump administration has been packed full of lies. Politico did a study that showed that Donald Trump lies every five minutes. And as we saw again this week, it has been nonstop lie after lie after lie from Donald Trump. They've lied about their meetings with foreign leaders. They've lied about Trump's involvement with his son's statement to the New York Times about the creepy Russia election meeting. And Trump even lied yesterday about winning New Hampshire in the election. In fact, Hillary won New Hampshire. This administration is seriously truth challenged. And it's an incredibly dangerous situation when the word of the President of the United States means absolutely nothing. So yes, the truth matters. I'm John Aravosis, the editor of America Blog. Please subscribe to my videos, watch the next video, and help me get my videos out there by sharing them online. Thanks so much. Have a good week.